Hey everyone, it's Liz. Long time no see. Just want to give an update of what's been going on with me and what's coming next. Uh, yeah, I've been upgrading, I guess, uh, as you can say. Uh, it's kind of what I think of Ascension is, is upgrading multi-dimensionally, energetically. But it's not fun sometimes, honestly. Um, we know this Ascension journey we're all on is full of lessons and you know, realignments sometimes. And that's okay, you know? I still maintain the universe um, is kind and has our highest good looking out for us at all times. So, you know, we do what we can. I'm sorry I've been away so long though, it's been weird, um, just haven't been able to channel. It's kind of hard when you're going through stuff, so. But I did want to try to at least say a few words about why I do light language, um, mainly because of this ascension journey. Um, I do believe we're all spiritual beings living human experience. Um, we're here to grow, evolve, um, you know, spiritually, but it seems a little weird when we're in our human vessels uh, at times. Uh, the light language, I'm not really sure why I can do it exactly. Um, ever since I was a kid, I felt like I was always creating my own language or doing something like that, and it wasn't until I went through my own ascension journey and discovered all this that I realized that you know maybe it is something. Um, I became a Reiki master first, uh, understanding distance healing mainly. Um, I kind of applied that to the, the energy healing of the light language. Uh, I've been on I don't know, lots of different journeys. Uh, I've had a light body ascension, um, awakening, and all these other little things. Um, I'm not sure if my light language is the same as others. We all kind of do our own thing, but that's how it's supposed to be. Um, and what it is, it's, you know, it's just, I'm a human being, but I have this understanding that there, you know, I could still channel energy from source, you know, beyond my humanness. Um, you know, it doesn't affect it or anything. And it's mainly used to help everyone with their own journeys. Um, you know, humanity, seven billion plus people, we're all interconnected really with you know, energy and our soul families, but we're all here individually to learn and do our own thing as well. So it's kind of hard to channel, at least I thought it was hard to channel for the world, um, but it's really not. Uh, try to make more generalized, um, and even more specific healings. Um, everyone's at a different spot on their journey, so uh, it really just depends on where you're at and what you feel called to listen to and work on. Um, so that's why I kind of provide a whole different arrangement of healings and offerings. And I do it for free because I'm kind of over paying for everything myself personally, so uh, I think the world will change eventually, um, this whole money thing, but while well, we continue to play with it, you know, I have other means. I have a nine to five and whatnot, so and I just feel like, you know, it's, it should be accessible to everyone. I mean, you still need the internet, sure. It's kind of the only downside, I guess, but you know, I just want people to, you know, feel better, uh, to send better, I guess, not be, you know, so scared and so much in pain um, because this journey, it doesn't have to be full of those things. Um, we can still enjoy and experience things to the fullest without all that humanness sometimes. So, you know, that's why I kind of provide all that. Um, as for like how I came into it exactly, uh, I've been on so many different things. I did a you know shaman drum circle. <laughs> uh, I love that because. My spirit animal was a chipmunk. I think it still is a chipmunk. You can look that up. <laughs> it's kind of fun. That's mainly, uh, mainly like a lesson for me to continue to live my life and have fun. But 
you know, we all do different things on our journeys. Um, some things work out, some things don't. Uh, everything's a learning and growth and evolution, so. I just want to say hi to y'all and let you know that I am still around. Uh, we have more light language coming up. I do have courses and other things I think the universe wants me to do that I'm not ready for, but I am. So, uh, it's just been rough for me. Um, I've been dealing with health stuff, uh, some death and other things. So, you know, we all do the best we can. Um, I read a quote, you know, nothing blossoms all year long, you know, like flowers and whatnot. So, you know, if you're healing, take your time. You know, time is relative anyway. Um, it's kind of made up, right? <laughs> but I love you guys. Thanks for your continuous support. Um, I have read your comments and I appreciate all the support, everything. I just haven't had the, uh, the energy to respond. But I love you guys. I will make more videos soon um, about and explore why and what and how. Because um, I do want to teach you guys too how to connect the source. Uh, trying to combine Reiki and light language uh, for some self-healing. Because um, everyone has access to source. You just may not realize it. Um, and you may not, you know, be able to do light language like me or others, but that's okay. You know, that's, you know, you still have access and you can still do some self-healing. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'm just more like a facilitator slash, you know, person to open people's eyes, I guess, to this whole thing. So, you know, don't take me as any kind of expert, please. I'm just kind of working through this uh, myself as we all go through this journey we call life. So, but more to come. Um, take care if you are going through your journey and kind of the dark side right now you know, just keep going um, it will get better uh, I've been through many you know, dark nights of the souls and depression and you know, feels like why bother sometimes with the world um, but there is you know a reason um, you may not be able to see it at first but we're here and uh, there's love you know, we might be able to see it, but there's love everywhere, and it'll come back to the forefront. Oh, stay positive. Keep love in your hearts. You know, if you even just have to put your head, hand on your heart and say, I love you, to yourself over and over again, you know, you'll get through it. More to come. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon.